All right, guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing the install of the Garmin 93 SV UHD Echo Map Plus Transducer. This has got the side imaging transducer and the LVS 34 uh, Panoptics Live Scope Plus Plus sign. That's what we're installing today. I'm gonna to try to do it really quick. So you guys are on the GoPro. I'm gonna kind of like bounce around and kind of show you guys clips of me installing it. I'm gonna be uninstalling my Hummingbird first, which I'm kind of crying about. I really love the Hummingbird, but Garmin's, Garmin's way up there with the live action. So, so my boat is a tiller steer and we're in my messy garage here that I've kind of jammed everything on that side to get my boat in here. We're gonna undo uh, this panel here and then start undoing the Hummingbird stuff first, so. So let me show you the uh, Garmin all installed here before we get blasted by the sun. But I have had the Garmin out a few times and I absolutely love how I kind of have it set up. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I have it set up, everything installed, and then I'm gonna kind of pop it open and show you how I ran all the wiring, how I ran the GLS 10 box. Um, but let's kind of walk through that right now. So this is the Garmin 93 SV. Like I said in the beginning of the video, and this is the 20 foot cable, it just kind of like dangles here on the floor and I'm missing the cover for this, or actually it's fallen off because I need new things for it. But that actually runs right into here and my GLS 10 box is mounted right to this piece of wood. And then I have a Johnny Ray um, mount that goes underneath here so I can swivel this in the back of my boat back and forth so there's no that's i'll leave the link for that below and then i have my little gopro stand that i can record that screen so i can share that footage with you guys and then i have the summit fishing i have the ram mount and then i have their pole that's expandable and then that goes all the way down below the boat so i can shoot down underneath the boat obviously we're on the trailer now but it just takes two collars and that little clamp right there it's not super sturdy under like uh, gas motor trolling speed, which is like three and a half miles an hour. But I'm gonna find a way to put like a little clamp right here so it makes it a little more sturdy. Er, I have caught a bunch of fish with it already. So I'm gonna take the screws out real quick and then I'll show you how I wired everything up. I'm gonna give you one piece of advice before you install all of this. When you get the unit, open up all the bags and boxes and stuff like that and then lay it out on the bottom of your boat or lay it out on a big table and and just dry fit all the wiring together that will severely help you on where you're going to run wires in your boat especially if your boat's not really set up for pan optics uh, like a brand new bass boat that has wiring and, and terminals and stuff like that placed everywhere so wire it all up and that will help you that will save you a bunch of time i wish i'd, I'd done told myself I was gonna do that and I didn't do it anyways and it took a lot longer to kind of figure out where the wires go and what wires go up and then down and that kind of stuff. So let me uh, take this apart and I'll show you how it goes. So on the back of the unit we have the, so the GLS 10 box cable. Then we have my sonar cable that's my side imaging and down imaging in the back. And then we have our power cable. And I'm not using any NEMA and we also have some uh, USB ports here in the back, but I'm gonna lift this up real quick show you how everything goes in there So we have the GLS 10 box and so we have this the actual sonar Cable coming out and going out of the boat or coming into the boat and out of the boat down to the Live scope LVS 34 then we have our network cable that runs out and goes back up into this hole and back up into the back of the panel with a little adapter there and that's that adapter we have our power cable that goes to our unit with a little ferrite bead so we have to run that to make sure we have a less electrical noise and that runs down into this panel and then we have the power from the gls 10 that actually runs down into my boat and i have a battery right there behind that fabric right there. I ran that directly to the battery because I've heard of uh, low power issues with these. You wanted to run it, it as short as of a cable as possible or run really fat cable as possible because it draws a lot of power. So I actually cut out a bunch of foam in my boat to put all this wiring stuff in here. And then I've, I was just talking to a couple people 
or seeing a couple of, of uh, social media posts about, oh yeah, you don't need this this water ground. So I actually grounded mine to the boat because mine's not grounded because it's mounted to a piece of wood. So this is a water ground. It's just not grounded to your battery, but it's grounded right to the frame of your boat. And that brings it down to water ground that eliminates some of the electrical noise that could possibly be in the boat. So that's it. Uh, run your power wires and then find a place for this this beast. I've not had it overheat um, Where it is yet and that's good. I'm trying to keep it that way and Everything seems to be running running pretty good leave the link for the summit fishing and the transducer swivel mount And everything else I used uh, in this build. So thanks for watching